thank you for joining us here today. Today we'll be demonstrating how to change the fiscal year in Sage BusinessWorks. I'll be using Sage BusinessWorks version 2013. I'll be working in the sample company of Sage BusinessWorks. And as we can see in the sample company, our current fiscal year end is December. For this demonstration, we'll be changing our fiscal year end to the month of June. When general ledger data files are created in Sage BusinessWorks, the last month of the fiscal year is set at that time. Within that company, the fiscal year cannot be changed. So we'll start our process of changing the fiscal year by copying our company. To copy the company, we can go to Utilities, and maintain companies. It is an exclusive option, so all other users in Sage BusinessWorks will need to be logged out for this process. We'll click on OK and we'll select our sample company. And you'll notice a button down on the far right where we can copy our company. Our copied company is going to be the company that has the new fiscal year. So at this point I'll select the copy button and I'm going to call my company New Year. I have the option at this point to copy the user security that's been defined for the sample company in Sage BusinessWorks into my New Year company. For this demonstration, I'll select Copy User Security and click on OK. You'll notice that our backup file is going above 100% and that's because we're also capturing all of the enhanced tax reporting information along with all of our Sage BusinessWorks data. So now you'll notice that within Sage BusinessWorks we do have a new company called New Year. I'm going to go ahead and select this company and we're now in our New Year company. Now as I said earlier, once the general ledger data files are created, the fiscal year cannot be changed. So we're going to begin our changing the fiscal year process by going to General Ledger, Utilities, and we're going to select to Create GL Data Files. So we'll go ahead and open GL Utilities, Create GL Data Files. This is an exclusive option, which means that other users will not be able to be in BusinessWorks while this process is being performed. I'll click on OK we'll get a notice that this option is used to create the data files that are used by the general ledger module and that the files are used to maintain the chart of accounts, budgets, journal entries and other information used by the general ledger module. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes and here's where we'll set our first month to close in general ledger. I'm going to select the month of June and here is where in my new year company I'm going to change my fiscal year from December to June. I'm going to select to take my chart of accounts from another company and from the other company list I'll choose my original company, Sample, and this will bring in only my chart of accounts with no journal entries or balances. So I'm going to select to include budget information, journals, and my customized report headings. And I'll click on OK 
and I'll type in create. Since this was a company that was copied from my original company, data files in the general ledger do already exist. But I need to create new general ledger data files in order to create my new fiscal year. So I'll say yes to delete the existing general ledger data files. My chart of accounts is being copied in. And now within my new year company, if I go to general ledger and utilities, display GL status, I'll see that the last month of my fiscal year is June and my current month is June. It may be that the last month of your fiscal year and your current month might be different months. Perhaps I wanted the last month of my fiscal year to be May. Then I could set my last month of fiscal year to be May and I would probably want to start my current month as May as well so that I can import those May journal entries before I close the last month of my fiscal year. So I'll say OK at this informational screen And at this point, what I would want to do is I would want to enter my initial balances. The initial account balances are going to be for the month of May, since my current month is June. To enter the initial account balances, I'll go to GL, Accounts, and Enter Initial Account Balances. This is another exclusive option. I'll click on OK and it tells me that I'll be entering my initial balances for the month of May in the year 2010. I'll say OK and I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while I get these initial balances entered. To enter the initial balances you just click on the Enter Balances screen. Debit balances go in as a positive. Credit balances go in with a negative sign. I'll be right back after I get the initial balances entered. Thanks for waiting for me. Now as we can see, we have all of our GL account balances entered for the month of May. These are going to be used when we close the month of June after importing our journal entries. In order to import the journal entries into our New Year company, we need to first export them from our sample company. So I'm going to switch our company to Sample, and I'll go to GL, Transfer, and I'm going to go to Export Journal Entries. I'm going to export journal entries using the specific posting date range of June 1st to June 30th, 2010. It's going to create a file within my sample company called jdtrans.csv and that's the file that I'll be importing into my New Year company. I'll select OK. So I've exported my journal entries from the sample company. Now I'll switch back to my New Year company and go to GL, Transfer, Import Journal Entries. I'm going to browse to my sample company. Here's my jdtrans.csv. I'll select Open and OK. I'll get a journal import exception report. I'll click on that. 
and I see that all of my entries will post. I'm looking for this yes in the fourth column. So I'll close the report and import my journal entries. I'll say yes to print my batch report and preview it, and I see that all of my journal entries that were dated in June have now imported into my business works. So I'm going to click on close, and if I go to GL reports and say trial balance, I can print a trial balance for the month of June and see all my entries are there. At this point, I'm ready to do a backup in my Sage BusinessWorks. Select No to back up another database, and I'm ready to go to GL, Close, and Close Current Month. This will close the fiscal year in the month of June 2010. I'll type in June, click OK. and say yes. At this point, our change of the fiscal year is actually complete. If we have journal entries that have been entered later than June in our current company, if June was our current month, we would want to switch back to that company and export those entries. Using GL Transfer Export Journal Entries. And we would want to select Future Journal Entries and export them. That will create a new JDTrans.csv which we could then switch back to our New Year company and go to GL Transfer and Import Journal Entries. Once our future period entries have been imported, we can back up our business works again and go to GL Close and Close Current Month until the current month of our general ledger matches the current month of our modules in BusinessWorks. To check that, we can go to GL System Status Report and click on Module Information. We can see in this case my general ledger current month is July because we wanted to demonstrate closing the last month of our fiscal year. Our modules are now still in June, so we would want to do a close in our modules to match our general ledger month. The last thing that we'd want to do after changing our fiscal year in the General Ledger module is to make sure that our subsidiary modules, AP, AR, and Inventory Control, also know what the new fiscal year end is. The Accounts Payable setting is located within the Cash Management module. 
utilities and maintain CM parameters and here I would change my last month of the fiscal year to be June. We would do the same for the accounts receivable module, utilities, maintain AR parameters, and we would set the last month of our fiscal year to be June. And lastly, the inventory control module and utilities and maintain IC parameters. June for a fiscal year end and click on OK. We're now ready to do our backup and if we need to do successive closes within the general ledger module to bring the general ledger up to the same current month as our subsidiary modules, we're ready to do that. So that brings us to the end of changing our fiscal year within the general ledger module. I'd like to thank you for joining us here today and we hope to see you back very soon.